Hi, I'm Lucy Holmes, and this is some of what I've done. On a night like this, just wanna stay forever. On a night like this, just wanna be together. On a night like this. I was involved with the Mint from around mid-2007 to early 2008. If you've just joined us, you're watching The Mint. My name is Lucy. That is Rob, who hates bad grammar and cannot pronounce euphemism, ventriloquism, and thinks that loser is a four-letter word. You just practised that for like an hour. <laughs> hey, you're live on The Mint with Lucy. Congrats, Christina. Love the show. Lucy, you're my favourite. What happened? <clears throat> Lucy, you're my favourite. Lucy, you're my favourite. Lucy, you're my favourite. What I got out of The Mint was a lot of on-air live experience, a lot of unprompted things happening, learning to work for such a long time without a break, talking without a break, and learning to stay up late in the middle of the night. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, stop that music. Did I give you permission to start the music? Oh no, I didn't. You know what? It is Big Money Monday. I'm gonna add on a Big Money Monday bonus of a thousand bucks. Start the music. Everything is right in front of you. It is staring at you in the face. It is saying, find me. Call me, win me. That's sort of money talking, if money had a voice. The singing bee was an absolute highlight. I was lucky enough to do season one and recently just finished season two. Such a great experience. A lot of work, a lot of songs to learn, but one of the, one of the funnest shows to work on. But I loved singing Lady Marmalade in the last season. She looks like Carly, dresses like Carly, even sounds like Carly. The Kylie show started uh, many years ago, seven years ago actually, an agent saw me and said, you look a lot like Kylie, and I'd heard that since I was about 16. And he said, why don't you put a show together, see how it goes, and we did, and it took off. And we've toured the world for seven years, we have a huge show dancers, around 15 costume changes, musicians, video screens, props, it, it's bigger than Ben and her. Performing at Carols by Candlelight, which I think is to around 33 million people around the world off the top of my head, is like no other experience. Walking out onto that stage, seeing the My Music Bowl full of candles and people singing, it, it is just a, such an emotional moment, but an absolute honour to perform at that. And I think I've managed to perform the last six out of seven years with the Melbourne Gospel Choir and it's just been incredible. Here are some of the other shows I've had the pleasure of appearing on. Disturbing news that it's actually not Kylie Minogue we've got with us tonight. I couldn't believe it because I'm, I'm stunned. It's actually Lucy Holmes appearing as Kylie Minogue. And how good is she? Hello, Lucy. And, uh, yeah. She's got her own website there. Lucy, you are a star and you're taking us tonight on the footy show with Step Back in Time. That's it. We'll see you next week. You must have some great stuff on Carly. Oh, I think my favourite bit of trivia is on one of her big tours on her rider, all she had was a kettle so she could make her own tea and not bother anyone. She's a not demanding. She's a not a kettle? Oh, I love that. Doesn't she know how to be a pop star? <laughs>
So you do a Kylie tribute ad. I Tell do, me all I that do. come about. Well, I've been performing probably my whole life. Um, the show's yeah. been going over nearly over seven years now. We do it full time around the world. We have a huge troop of dancers, musicians, sets, 13 odd costumes for me alone. We were on a show together, uh, Starstruck, and we you were. came second, right? Yes. But it was an, an incredible act, it really is. What's your favourite? Just a, a little while ago, just to throw them off the scent, we put in a Kylie Minogue, you know Kylie Minogue? Mm. We put a Kylie lookalike yes. in there. This is what happened an hour ago. Okay. Ready? Oh. 